up guys, Junior here with NA Mustangs. Uh, today is gonna be a video all regarding the brass that I got here in the background. I know uh, a few people on Instagram have been asking me what's done to it or where have I have gotten the parts, stuff like that. Um, I do have a backstory video that I'll probably upload after this, if this video, which uh, actually, as you can see here, got the jack ship number still on the windshield. We did end up going to the drag ship, however, it got rained out. We were supposed to go again yesterday, but then it rained again. That's why the drag pack is still on. Uh, we're going to try, hopefully, next video will be the saline versus the Roush. Alex is taking a saline. We're going to race them, see which one's faster. Um, of course, I'm on a tire, so I should potentially have an advantage there because he's, he's on street tires. Um, but anyways, that's a whole other story. Hopefully, fingers crossed, because our passes are good for 30 days after since it was, what, two weeks ago? So we only got till August 7th, so we got two more shots, hopefully it doesn't rain. Um, so I decided to do, I was like, well, I gotta get a video up, so I might as well do a full uh, overview on my 2003 Roush 380R. Um, Alex, did you see on this car? He was, we're assuming probably the second owner, he bought it with 60,000 miles. Um, I'm not gonna go too into deep into that. Uh, long story short, I bought it three years ago in July 7th. So it's been ex almost exactly three years. Um, we're gonna start so we're gonna start front to back interior and then the trunk set up and then engine bay so starting with the front we got a Homemade splitter that I made as you can see I uh, actually went there's this place here in town that sells sheets of ABS plastic So I bought a sheet and that's actually that leftover sheet is what Alex used on his uh, splitter video I don't know if you've seen I'll do the card above So the leftover sheet from that was off, off, uh, left over off of my splitter so I just cut it with a jigsaw and then coated it with some coating, sprayed it sand black. It's been holding up pretty good. Um, other than that, obviously we got a uh, carbon fiber splitter rods, Amazon special, I got them for like 20 bucks. And then we're gonna start with the lighting. So the headlights and fog lights are all uh, from SW Lights. So shout out to SW Lights again, Sean. Um, he's the guy, the main guy there on SW Lights. So they're all Gloss black internals, gloss black shrouds with the Roush etching on the projector, clear corners, and then I also have them paired with uh, switchbacks from SW lights as well. And then the fog lights are also switchbacks, but they're also, um, I do have demonized and the color changing fog lights, so the fog lights and the demonized are all with my app, color changing, like I said. But the blinkers or the fog lights are collected to blinkers as well, so whenever you change blinker, I'll switch to orange, even if you have a different color whatsoever. Um, so those are probably the best. Uh, that was probably the first mod I ever did to this car when I bought it was the headlights and fog lights. Um, I do have something planned with Sean with the fog lights, so stay tuned for that. I do have a elite tuner, so hopefully it's supposed to happen here in November. So I might do a couple things here and there on the car to get it ready for that. Um, other than that, we have the uh, carbon fiber hood. So this hood is probably the the one I get the most questions asked on. And actually, believe it or not, I got this. What, last year when corona first first started i was like well i want a cow hood i want a cow hood and then i was like well might as well get a carbon fiber one and i searched everywhere vis carbon driven all them were back order and then i found this company called ait racing right ait performance one or the other um, i forget and they had them on their website as well however i looked out and i found them on ebay so they have their store on ebay as well i ended up getting this for like 600 dollars shipped and had to in stock it got to my house in like three days so that's where the hood came into picture. So for all of you asking, it's from AIT Racing Performance. I'll link the, the link below. Um, I don't know how much they are at the moment. I know stuff has gone up, fortunately. But that's where the hood came from. So it's a three inch cow hood, carbon fiber as you can see. And then going forward, we have the uh, color match pony that matches the wheels. It's actually red fire red off of the red fire Mustangs. It matches perfect with the wheels and the trunk setup, which we'll talk about later. Obviously, we, we got to have the shorty antenna and then pretty much that's it up front. Let's go ahead and uh, start with the wheels then. So we have the BC Forged. Uh, they're in Candy Red, I believe. I, I forget the actual name. So huge, huge shout out to Wheel Lab on the wheels. I wouldn't have these wheels if it wasn't for them. Um, if you ever need wheels, suspension, anything like that, Wheel Lab is a place to go when it comes to BC Forged. Roddy Form, uh, I think they have Cosby's. You name it, air suspension, coilovers, the other guys to go to, so check them out. So of course they do have the, the backs as well, so the specs on these, they're, they're custom made wheels, so the fronts, they're 5mm, 
by nine inch wheels, so 18 by nines with some limited back spacing. I did spec them to fit the Brembo's. So it is, uh, we do have the ATS Brembo swap on there. I do, we do have a video on the channel, I'll do a card above on the whole install on this. And actually I think I ended up spending like 350 bucks for everything on this. So it's not bad, it's definitely, definitely. One, they look, they look sick behind those BC4s. Two, they work. So we have the ATS Brembo's and then the rear wheel setup with the BC4s are 10 and a half. Those are 22 millimeter offset uh, by 18s. Uh, BC4s, like I said, they're custom made so you can get, they have a variety of colors and then you can get back spacing size. I could have gone 11s, but I should have, but I didn't unfortunately. Um, so keep going on this. We do have the Carter's Customs side splitters. These I think, are the V2 version or the Gen 2 or something like that because he has the straight ones and then these are as you can see they're like they they come out on the front and then they go back to normal and then they stick out even more on the back so that that's where I got those from and then uh, I do have the, the diffuser as well which I'll show here in a second continuing with this we do have the uh, the all famous O304 Cobra mirrors obviously they're foldable those are a must I think in my opinion on a new edge uh, Unfortunately, they're they're going up in price, so they're getting hard to find. So if you ever find a set, cop them. I know some 40th anniversary Mustangs came with them as well, uh, so if you can cop them, cop them. Um, going with the roof, the roof is one thing that I think uh, a lot of people never notice. So my buddy Matthias and I, shout out to Matthias, uh, my mock one, I'll put a picture on the video here. He's actually the one who helped me wrap that one, and he helped me wrap this one, the roof on this. So it's the Roush. Uh, our logo on the roof, I know that one doesn't get much attention because usually the picture of the lower or anything like that, or you just kind of see like a black roof. So I did a rush hour that's kind of replicating the drift car. I think it's the Falcon drift car, I forget his name, but he has a rush hour on the on the roof and that's where I got the idea from. Continuing to the back, we do have the uh, OEM Ford bullet, billet, bullet billet fuel door. So I ended up scoring that one on eBay, brand new. Um, I was acted. I am going to color match it, I think, here soon. Uh, although the, the polish kind of matches the polish on the lip, on the lip of the wheels. So I don't know. Usually I'm rocking the BC4s. But I got to say, I'm digging the trackback look. It just, it's more of a show car, but it looks intimidating. Which, speaking of which, they're the SV Performance uh, Drag Comp wheels. They're originally polished with a black center and they're like polished on the, on the inside of the spokes. I got them custom powder coated by Duke City Powder here in town, uh, along with the tank, which I'll show you here in a second. And then my previous MVXs that I had on the car, which are not a Fox, but he was also powder coated by him. So shout out to him. So they're custom powder coated in that color red to match the BC Forge up there. And they're wrapped in Mickey Thompson. They're uh, 295-55-15s. If you're trying to cop the wheel set up. The only thing is since the tires are so much bigger than the front, the ABS light doesn't come on. That's the only downside. But I mean, at the drag show, you want to turn your drag show off anyway, so. It's kind of not a downfall. Um, another thing we got also is the uh, staying lights, side markers. Um, I'll go ahead and turn them on right now. So there, that's a nice piece because usually these come with just like a reflector, I guess you can say. And staying lights went ahead and uh, made them light up and they light up really nice. I mean, this is like right now daylight and you can see them perfect. So I gotta love those. Uh, moving on to the back, we do have I know this is a factory Roush part, but this car originally didn't come with them. Uh, my uncle actually ended up doing that. They're, they're the Roush rear valances off of the stage two to three. So the stage threes and the stage two, since they have the set exhaust, they have those to cover the holes. Well, my uncle, when he first got the car, obviously the bumper is nice, low, and then it's just factory. And then in the back, it just didn't have nothing going on other than the wings. So he's like, well, might as well have those on there. So we just have like the exhaust cutouts. Um, I do have a set of the rear valances. I do have that, uh, we have a Zinc Yellow GT, but we're gonna just sell it. So I do have a set of those rebalances for sale if anybody wants them. I don't know if I'm gonna keep those and modify them to fit better than these, so I might sell these with the cutoffs already. But I do have a full set of the valances that I don't cut yet. So stay tuned on my Instagram or on here, comment below. I might end up selling those if you want some. Um, going with the tail lights, another new edge, uh, I guess you can say treasure hunt part. So they're the 99201 amber tail lights. They only came on the Cobras. These are slightly tinted. We did do a video on how to tint your, your tail lights the, the correct way, I guess you can say. So I'll do a card above 
I'm doing that. I do have them paired with the SW lights LED bulbs. As you can see, they, I do have the sequential harnesses on there as well. We are planning on doing a video on making the amber work up below. So right now, obviously, as you can see, there's no bulb in there. It's so only these kind of blink sequentially. So what we're planning on doing is wiring this from the front. So this will blink and these will do the sequential as well. Something like that. So we'll see what we do there. Hopefully here soon we'll do that video. Um, continuing on the back, I do have this Ford emblem overlay. It's uh, Oxford white with red fire red uh, Ford font and then the little oval. I got that from Mooch29 on Instagram. I'll tag him down below. Fits perfect. He, did, he also did the uh, Mustang lettering back here. So it's actually the American flag, as you can see. So both of those are off of him. Another thing that I got back here is the uh, eBay special LED third brake light. It's just the, I think it's a clear smoked version, if I'm correct. And then we also have the uh, Carter's Custom diffuser down there. So as I was talking, so both the uh, side splitters and the diffuser are from Carter's Customs. The front splitter is only by me. Carter's Customs does, however, make splitters for the Roush and the Salines. So if you don't want to make one or if you like because these are really nice not gonna lie they're abs plastic with the coated aluminum on the top of the bottom so they're really they're sleek looking so he does have those available if you want to i'll tag his website down below he has a bunch of variety stuff not, not only for new edges but uh, i think box bodies five o's anything it's one of the same it's all those he has uh stuff for so if you want to check them out and then we have the uh roush exhaust tip so these tips are actually off of the uh Roush Raptors, I've got them on eBay. I think for like 60 bucks each. 60 bucks each. So the four inch, four and a half inch Roush exhaust tips off of a uh, Raptor or an F-150, I guess you can say. So I got those on right away. I gotta love the roll tip look. I just think it looks more sleek, you know? And then uh, actually I'm gonna have my brothers over here too. I'm gonna have them go ahead and do a startup for you. It is, sauce wise, it's got BBK cooling fetters, BBK Catalyst X-Pipe matched with the Flowmaster Catback. I did, however, take off the, uh, I think there were Super 44 mufflers and we paired them with Super 10s. So it's, it's loud. So yeah, let's see, we're gonna have them start it right now. Go. All right, so as you can see, it's, it's loud. It's not obnoxiously loud like the SLPs are straight piped, but it's got a really, really loud, deep growl to it. It does drone quite a bit, I'm not gonna lie. So on the on the freeway, it kinda, kinda gets annoying after a while. But that's the exhaust setup we have. So now we're gonna go ahead and do under the hood. So go ahead and pop the hood real quick. Let's see. Pull it hard. There you go. All right, so under the hood. So I guess it's a little dusty. I should have cleaned down here, but we just kinda spur the moment. So starting with the front again, we have the Radiator cover, I guess you can call it. I got it custom made by Lanier Metal, I think is his Instagram. I'll link them down below as well. So this, I mean, I think it looks sleek. Obviously, you can't run this unless you got hood struts. This car actually came with the Roush hood struts. So if you, if you have hood struts, you're obviously not gonna use the little bar that comes here. So you usually need to put the bar on like a little clip here. So if you have hood struts, if you wanna do this, it's a lot cleaner, sleek looking. You can get them different fonts, colors, all that good stuff. Um, we do have the Canton Racing Raider Reservoir and the Supercharger Coolant Reservoir. So I got those two also. We got an Optima battery here. Um, as many of y'all know, air suspension, and I do have a sound system, a bunch of LED lights and whatnot. I do have undergo as well. Um, that drains quite a bit, and for car shows, if y'all don't have them on, haven't had any issues with Optima. It's a really good battery, so if you have anything like that, I do recommend going in Optima. Here's the uh, bar number. If you guys are wanting to get a battery that actually fits an optimal battery, it's a Red 35. Anyways, going with the uh, this side, we do have a Canon colder intake on here, which I need to clean the filter, it looks like. And then we have a Moroso clutch can, and then we have, which we just installed recently, was the Snow Performance Meth Kit, so we ran the lens here and then we did it on top. Um, I do have the VMP Performance 2.49 inch uh, supercharger pulley, so it is a smaller pulley. Um, it went from pushing six pounds of boost to I think I've I've seen it hit like 11 pounds of boost So it's quite a bit of and a jump um, We have the MSD coil packs and then Honestly, I think that's pretty much it under the hood other than the uh, 
adjustable clutch cable, I guess, if you want to call that a modification there. But that's what we got going under the hood. Oh, actually, I like. I do have, which unfortunately I can't get a picture of or show you guys. I do have a QA1 tubular K member paired with the A arms, so that is also done. Uh, I did that when I took fix the the headers. As many of y'all know, headers on two valves, pain in the butt. So it's got tubular K member with the A arms since I got air suspension. I could run the A arms. Which that's, I guess, a huge, huge factor I forgot for the exterior is I do have the airlift 3P system. Everything is airlift. Um, according from the management to the bags, everything is airlift. I've had the bags on there for two years now. Drive the car quite a bit. Haven't had any issues yet. I will suggest, though, if you're a new edge guy and you do get the bags, to get it to lay bumper, obviously this bumper is low, you do have to adjust the uh, bags to go lower so I do suggest my fenders are cut so if you have like wider wheels or if your offsets a little more out I guess you can say you are gonna have to cut the fenders unless you camber it so that's another modification we got in there so now we're gonna go into the interior all right so we're gonna get started on the on the interior so doors we do well actually the whole dash kit it's a overlay kit from Dyna Performance it's all carbon fiber do you have an install video, I'll do the card above. But Dyna Performance is uh, also the one who made the carbon fiber steering wheel. Custom made red stitching to match the seats here. Um, huge, huge shout out to Dyna Performance. They're one of the sponsors for the car. Honestly, best company I've worked with. They make great parts, not just for new edges, for any Mustangs, Camaros, you name it. I'll link them down below. I did do an install video on the wheel and the overlay kit. So I'll do the cards above. Uh, we also have the Braum racing seats. Um, these are probably my favorite mod here on the interior. They just make the car look completely, completely more, I guess, sleek, you know, different. Some of the Roush did come with the upgraded interior package, which were two-tone seats, higher headrest, stuff like that. Unfortunately, this car was just, uh, it had leather seats, but they were just GT seats. They didn't even have the suspension mods or anything like that. It was just the 3DR. Uh, so that's why, obviously, we did the interior. So to match the front seats, the Brahms, I had the back seats custom upholstered with the diamond stitch there to match the front seats. We do, like I said, I do have a Rockford Fosgate subwoofer, which that kind of has to do with the trunk. Uh, so it's a box just kind of on the front. I do only have one sub on the other side. That's why we don't have that one down. So that's a 12 inch Rockford Fosgate uh, subwoofer box is custom made by Alex. Um, moving on with the interior, we do have the auto meter gauge pod. This thing, if you guys are looking for a gauge pod that fits perfect, even this gauge pod is actually auto meter. They fit great, they look great. Auto meter is a place to go. The water temp gauge and the wet band are also auto meter. The boost gauge is a rush boost gauge. That's the only gauge that isn't uh, auto meter. And then we got the snow performance controller over here, which uh, I'll do the car above. There is a whole install video on this. Like I said, this is the auto meter gauge pod with the snow performance gauge and that fits perfect. Then we got a uh, the Roush cluster, I did end up doing, so the, the gauge wings, they're actually the chrome ones. I just ended up spraying them silver, that way it matched the rest of the gauges and the scheme I got kind of going on here. Like the shift knob is uh, the Roush shift knob, but it's silver, so. Consider painting it red, but I don't know yet. Um, I do have the UPR, uh, I guess you can say, HVAC control overlay, so it's an actual piece you go on top. So this one actually glows which you can't see, I guess, but it glows like the, like the cluster. So kind of like the Terminator is just the illuminescent glow. So it matches that. And I like the fact that it's white to match the gauges as well. So this actually got on eBay for like 10 bucks, like what, two years ago. So you guys want to cop that. UPR is also the one who made the billet parts on the wheel and the wheel buttons, the shift, the headlight knob, all that good stuff is all from UPR as well. As you can see here is uh, I got the airlift controller here. It is mounted just with a simple magnetic uh, phone mount. Just obviously you just put the little metal piece on the back of the remote there. Boom, clean. Cause I had it here in the center console before, but the wire was kind of getting messed up. So I had to permanently mount it. I did, I know a lot of people ask me on this little guy, the Deadpool, I actually got it at Target. It's meant for like headphones and stuff like that. So I just kind of like, cause you can see I got Deadpool back there too. And got Deadpool somewhere else. So you'll see in the tank. Um. We also got the Pioneer head unit. Uh, it's really nice because you can control with uh, Android Auto or Apple Play. So all your navigation, all that good stuff, text messages come up on the stereo. Then we got the eBay special shift boot. 
and handbrake boot with the red stitching. Just wanted to match the the seats and the uh, back seats. I do also have the Starlight headliner. Let's see if you can see it. I don't know if you guys can see it, but that is also done. Unfortunately, I didn't film that video. I will say though, it's definitely wicked cool. I can change colors, all that good stuff. However, it is a pain in the butt. So I had to I did this all by myself. So I had to drop. You have to drop the headliner. So I have to take off pretty much the whole interior to take the headliner off. And then I think the kit I got came with 150 of the little fiber optic wires. I guess you can call it. So you gotta go and puncture 150 holes, run the wires, and then hot glue it, all that good stuff. So actually the box for the solar headliner, so it goes through there, on there, and then it's under the seat, so that's where it's wired, and then I have a switch. Alex had the idea of doing the switch here on the center console, so I have a switch to turn off and on. You can wire directly to a cigarette lighter or just directly, so you can turn off and on with a remote. However, I already have the demon eyes uh, and the underglow directly to the battery, so the remote is technically always on so that's already a little bit of drain so i didn't want more drain on it um i do always have a tender so i suggest you guys i'm in tender that way it keeps your battery charged up all the time when you drive it all right so camera got hot and it shut off so i forgot i lost my train of thought there um continuing with the interior i think i was talking about the head sort of the headliner so it was a pain in the butt so anyway oh that's what i was telling so the way it's wired up in here so anyways i was talking about the tender that way it, i would suggest get a tender like for example this car i drive it maybe it tops once a week i used to drive it more but now i have a daily and I have the Fox body so I don't drive it as much so usually I have a tender plugged into it that way my remotes for the demon eyes and all that good stuff don't actually drain the battery because they will drain the battery um, after a week or so so that's the only downfall obviously I wanted them directly wired to the battery that way on car shows I can turn them off and on I don't have to have be using a switch or you know what stuff like that um last thing I think I'm forgetting something but last thing actually two things so we do have the of course the trusty SCT tuner here with the windshield mounts. I am planning on getting it tuned by VMP. That's coming soon, hopefully. I still, like I said, I'm trying to get a drag strip, but it hasn't been working out. See what it runs. I might do run run on spray. It does go really rich though on the spray, so that's why I haven't been using it. Then I'll get it tuned by VMP, so it's gonna get tuned for the meth, hopefully. I'm gonna try to get one tuned with meth and one tuned without meth. See what I do. Uh, nice thing about meth injection is you can turn it off and on, so I mean, I guess I can tune it and just not get on it, but the gallons of, uh, boost juice is kind of pricey i know you can use a windshield washer fluid but you know still adds up because i don't drive the car that much but we'll see what we do um next thing is the seat belts so these seat belts are actually custom made by uh drop top svt i think is his instagram he has a terminator the midnight purple terminator i'll link them down below so the back seat belts and the front seat belts are custom made by him they're black with the red outline i believe if i'm correct the new four lariat sports come with this type of seat belts so that's where those came from. So obviously I got the black and red color scheme going on in here. Um, as far as that goes, I think that's it for the interior. Everything else is factory Roush, uh, like the cluster, the pedals. I do have diamond stitch floor mats. Um, however, I'm not going to talk about them because they're kind of eBay special and they're... One, I have to make them fit, make them fit. I think there's a video in there somewhere. I don't know if I uploaded it though. I had to trim them a lot, plus they're already falling apart, so... I won't even talk about those so hopefully if there's a company out there i've been trying to find a company that makes them specifically for new edges but nobody does um going back to the trunk so i know the trunk setup doesn't get seen very often in this car so this is it simple you know clean it's uh functional so i can actually still access my spare tire down here so this was all alex's idea um so like i said the subwoofer box is actually right here so he had the idea of mounting the tank to the box so the the tank is actually mounted up high so we can still take out the the spare tire like i mentioned the tank is uh was powder coated like i mentioned from duke city uh duke city powder so they're matched to my they're this powder color the same color as the wheels then we got the compressor over here the actual computer mat or management unit i guess you can call it is actually in here uh, so Alex had the idea, he used the brackets off of the, I think it's where the uh, trunk is hooked up to, to the taillight. So he did like a bracket and then the, the computer is mounted in there so it's clean out of the view. I did originally want to do like a wood flooring and do like the lines fancy, but I do drive the car. I've taken it on trips and stuff like that. So I mean, I guess you can fit some stuff back here, so I like it. The mat is from Lay Model, it's the anti-slip with the red pony. I just wanted something you know clean sleek and then 
sub performance uh, little reservoir in the pump is right here kind of cool you can you know car so you can show it off and then it's also accessible to fill it up uh, the full install video like I mentioned is uh, we do have a video on that so the bracket Alex actually came up with it it's just mounted to the trunk studs here with a metal bracket and the brackets supports the uh, pump and the reservoir so that was a nice idea from Alex then we also got the uh, nice trunk liner mat however you want to call it uh, it was custom made so obviously it's the Roush font it's the mirror with the black the guy that makes this uh, makes them for both 5.0s, new edges, any car. He can do whatever font pretty much that you would like. Uh, I know they make Terminator ones, sailing ones I've seen. Um, I forget the name of his company, but I'll link them down below. I think it's uh, something Mats. I think. I don't know. I, f I forget. Sorry, guys. But you can find them on eBay. Um, I'll tag his website down below for the trunk liner. I think it's usually these cars just come, I mean, they're just painted white, but I think obviously in car shows, it just looks sleek something else to look at you know this is at the end of the day it's still my show car I know I mean it's supercharged all that good stuff but honestly I don't expect to run I hope to touch 13s we'll see uh, I know Alex when he owned this car he took it once on a street tire so anyways as I was saying camera keeps getting hot I need a new camera any suggestions drop in the comments below uh, it had potentials I think at the time with some saline wheels uh, I think what he had done was headers at the time Anyways, I'm actually short. The fastest he ran was like a 14.7 at uh, 99 miles an hour. He was spinning first through second. I think third is when he finally got, got it to hook. So I know traction was an issue. Uh, hopefully here, I mean, it does have some stuff done to it. And I do have a drag pack, so if it hooks, I hope to at least run like a 13.9, 13.8. That'd be my goal. Uh, if it doesn't hit it, then obviously I didn't get it tuned and I'll spray it. I'll use the meth injection, see if we can hit the 13s. But, you know what, at the end of the day, yeah, it looks wicked with the drag pack, not even gonna lie. But it is still a show car, don't let, don't let the car intimidate you. It's no Terminator or anything like that. It's just, low and slow is pretty much what it is, but it can get up to speed decently quick. So, so this is it guys, this is my 2003 Roush 380R. Uh, I know, I'll give you some facts about the car. Originally, I wanted a Terminator. Don't go out this car and he ended up agreeing to selling it to me. I saw my mock when I sold that one to buy this one. I wanted something unique and special, obviously with a little bit more power. This one, I mean, yeah, it's a two valve, but it's boosted and Roush does do great stuff. Um, I know this car is one of 62 3DRs made in 03. Uh, it's one of eight in Oxford white uh, that came out in 03. Believe it or not, this car was supposed to come with the blue stripes. Uh, the original owner, I know that I think he got like in a little fender bender. So the stripes are actually not vinyl, they're sprayed on, the side ones and the roof ones and the bumper ones. So I, I guess the original owner had them painted in black, gloss black. So I guess you can say this is the only one white and black, but originally it came with blue stripes, which it's supposed to come with. Um, so yeah, I wanted something unique. I know, as far as I know, I think it's the only bag 3DR, the first and the only one as of now. Take it to me to ruin such a, uh, a rare car, you know. But This was uh, one of my dream cars since my uncle got it. I'll drop the backstory video here soon. Hopefully there's a, this car has been in the family for a while, I guess you can say, and it's not going nowhere. So hopefully here soon, we are going to do a lead tuner in November. Like I mentioned, I am planning on going to the LMR cruising here. I think it's on October 21st, if I'm correct. Um, so if you want to see me, I'm still trying to convince Alex to go take a sailing, but for sure I'll be there with the Roush. So if I'll see anybody, maybe at the LMR cruising, uh, and as always, Thanks for watching. Bye.